Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to run TestNG using command prompt or from command prompt. Let me answer. So let me switch to this Eclipse ID and freshly create a project. I'll select project here and search for Java and select the Java project, click on next and create this project. So I'll say TestNG sample CMD command line project. Okay, some random name I am giving. Click on finish. I'm freshly creating a project here. Once the project is created, I'll expand this SRC. Some by default, some file is coming. I'll delete that. And under the SRC, I'll create a class. I'll just uh, name this uh, class as some C1 class. Okay, class one. For example, for randomly, I'm giving the class name. Click on finish. And inside this, inside this class, I'm going to create a method, public void test one method. Name of the method I'm giving as test one, some random method name. And on the top of this, provide at the rate test annotation. Okay. Now, hold the mouse and uh, add test change library to this project. You are adding the library. Now, after adding the library, now hold the mouse on at the rate test. And you'll get this import statement now. Import this test annotation from test engine. Once that is done, write some sample code here and say executed test one like this. Now save this. Now, so what we have to do is we have to run this uh, test engine from command line. So, first of all, I will create a test engine XML file here, right click test engine, convert to test engine. I'll simply click on finish at stng.xml file, which contains this particular class C1 class. Okay. You see, this particular class is mentioned, is created. Once this is done, to run this particular test ng from command line, I have to create one more folder that is a lib folder. Okay. Under the library folder, I will add some jar files. So, what are the jar files I need to add? For example, here, whatever the jar files that are there in this uh, test ng library, I need to add. How to find these jar files? You have to go to this location in my machine, see users, uh, username folder dot p2 pool plugins. Okay. Let's go there. I will just, uh, you know, go to the C drive. From there, I'll go to the users, username folder. In that, you'll find p2 folder, in that pool folder, in that plugins. In the plugins folder, if you scroll down, you'll find everything. Let's find one by one. That is org test ng. So I'll go and find, find org dot test ng thing. I have to scroll. A lot of files are there. So I have to scroll heavily. So here, this one, this looks like this one org test ng 7.4.0 org 202 something. Copy this and uh, paste it under the lib folder. Okay. After that, I'll go for remaining orgs. Org Apache is there. So I have to scroll up. A lot of files are there here. So I have to scroll fastly. This many files are there. So arg apache, what is the one? Arg apache hyphen extras. Arg apache. Most uh, there. Hyphen. Yeah, this one looks like this one. Some B6 and all. Okay. Copy this and uh, paste it here. Remaining jar files also, I'll find it out. Arc YAML. Arc YAML. Scroll completely. Arc YAML. Snake YAML. Snake YAML. After that, 1.227.0, some 806, something is there. So this one looks like. Copy that jar file. Paste it here. Now, arc web jars jQuery something is there. Let's find it out. Arc web jars jQuery 3.5.1. This one, copy this, paste it here. One more jar file is left. That is this one, combi ostj commander. Okay, so let's find it out in this list. Com. Okay, here it is. Com. B U S T J commander underscore one point 
7.0.0 jar copy this so once you get all these jar files here under the lib now right click on this project select properties and go to the project location in your the folder location project folder location in your machine this is a project folder location open this and here type cmd press enter the command prompt will open from this project locate location where this okay uh where this session xml file is available fine we need this session xml file we need to run this so to run this uh first we have to set the class path so how to set the class path you have to write set command space then have to specify the class path that is class path is equal to then i need to provide the place where this dot class files are available dot class files are available copy this location where dot class files are created and put a semicolon after that go to the lib folder where we have put the jar files all the jar files we just collected and pasted right that folder path you provide paste it and after that provide backward slash and provide asterisk okay so with this the class path will be set after the class path got set here you have to uh, run the next command java space arc dot testng dot testng testng dot xml okay this is a command we have to run when you run this command when you run this command uh whatever the testng tests that are there in this particular project you need to run okay or instead of writing these two commands, instead of specifying these two commands, what we can do is directly we'll go to the project location. There's another way also. Either you have to run these two commands, okay? After this command, you have to run this command, or simply you can run a, run a single command, okay? Instead of these two commands, you can run a single command. Let me show you how to run the single command. So here, go to the project location again. The single command, we can specify everything. Go to the project location. Once the uh, project go inside the project folder where testng.xml file is visible, now type cmd. The command prompt will launch for, uh, launch at the project location, and here type the single command Java hyphen cp. Okay, uh, cp means class path, and uh, after this you provide the uh, location of the project where the dot class files for each and every Java file you created here. In, in the project, whatever the Java files are there, for each and every Java file, a dot class file will be created, right? That path you have to copy and paste it here. Okay, and put a semicolon. And after that, go to the location, LIB folder location, copy this and paste it. Now say forward uh, backward slash asterisk symbol. And followed by, you have to write or dot testng dot testng space. You have to give the file name. That you want to run that is testng.xml file. So give that testng.xml and press enter. That's it. Okay. This is how we need to run the testng test from the command line. These are the commands case. Okay. So either these two commands you have to run or this command you have to run to run the testng test using the command line. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.